<laughs> so slow down, slow down. Slow down, slow down, hit the roundabout. Don't hit the curb. We're elevating the outdoor living. Y'all getting ready for uh, vlog number 11. Since we moved, the bus line is not connected to uh, the kids. It's connected to my daughter, but she's spoiled. So I have to drop her off every morning and sometimes I'll let her drive. Uh, she just she just got her temp, so she's allowed to drive. Now I got to drop Devin off, which we are always late. Aren't we always late? <laughs> we are always late dropping him off. I think I got to sign him in at least once a week. So tardiness is uh, going to be his bad thing. It, it, we just can't get it on time. It's too early in the morning. But I think he just likes to hang out with me in the morning is what it is. But yeah, pretty good day. Got a meeting with uh, Leonard Pollard. He's a um, mortgage broker. Uh, he's going to give us some insights and tips on, on how to do things financially for your house, uh, what value outdoor living gives, and then just a little running around. I got some work to do at Starbucks, got some uh, design work for Nancy, uh, get some stuff knocked out. We got a meeting next week, uh, I think it's Wednesday or Thursday for her. So hey, come hang out with me today. You ready to chop it up today? Happy Friday, brother. Yeah, man. We're ready to talk about some big things, brother. You okay. know what I mean? Uh, long and short of it, it's Funky Funding Friday. I'm excited today. My man Dwayne's in the house. We're here at uh, my office in Naperville. Going to go grab some Joe and talk about how we can help a lot of people, homeowners like you, um, increase value in your home and look at the, the, the benefits that come with something that a lot of us don't even think about. Honestly, I didn't even think about it until I met this man about a month ago. Um, in the back of an Uber and he started talking to me about not landscaping as I would call it but architectural engineering so when you put that to it and you think about it um, sounds pretty complicated and I gotta tell you some of the things that this man behind this camera does and that he has shown me has wowed me has me at a point now where I'm saying okay I don't want a condo I want a house with a big yard so this guy can play around uh, top-notch work you guys you'll, you'll hear about it you'll see it but I just wanted to let you guys know today we're going to grab some Joe, we're going to shoot the crap, we're going to put some things together, visualize some things, and figure out how we can make more people, including myself, um, appreciate the outside. All right, talk to you guys soon. We are chopping it up a little bit about... Um investment properties yes. and we're at the what the Naperville Chamber of Commerce right now yes we are have to go and pick up some paperwork and talk to the Chamber of Commerce that's how you keep the business growing and keep everything alive Lynn and I are here talking about um, values that outdoor living uh, does to a house and this is a question I've always wanted to ask just for the simple fact is we do outdoor living spaces and I always hear sometimes well it doesn't add value it does add value um, and I, I have a man right here who understands home value this is what he does day in and day out Leonard, what is your thing about outdoor living? Does it add value? Does it not add value? What what does it do to the outdoor living? Well, I mean, number one, I, I personally love the outdoors. So, you know, being born and raised in California, you know, coming from Central America, the outdoors are greatly appreciated. So, essentially, when it comes to home ownership, I'm a licensed mortgage loan officer, and I push renovation lending. I push upgrades. I, I push perfectly manicured lawn. Uh, because that's just me personally, but essentially as you're driving through neighborhoods and you see a gazebo or a hot tub or you know a swing set in the backyard, it tends to draw your eyes to that house. So when you're out looking for homes, if it be to rent or to buy or even to invest, we have to admit as, as human beings, you know, we naturally gravitate towards things that our eyes say, hey, look. So when we talk about outdoor living space, you know, Dwayne and myself today are, are putting together plans to bring to homeowners and potential homeowners the value of these outdoor living spaces because a lot of people say, well, if the house burns down or if a tornado yanks it away, you can't live outside. Um, but essentially, the value that that outdoor living space brings to that home is there. I mean, whether realtors or appraisers want to admit it or not, it is there. It does bring value to the home. It extends your living space, okay? Whether it be indoor or outdoor, living space is what I'm gonna key in on. It extends that living space, that entertaining space. 
that tight dining room or that crowded basement. Now you have an additional amount of space outside where you can practically live, assuming the elements, uh, you know, warrant such, you know? Yeah. Another question I have too is, is one of the things that I always preach, like in my videos, and I don't, if you've seen some of the other videos, I'll say things like, if it's designed correctly, instead of just having like a basic paper patio, because I, I me remember that house, we did the open house last week. Mm -hmm. It was a beautiful house. Everything was nice about it. What was the square footage of it? Like 32? 3,100 square feet. 3,100 3, square feet. And it's, they're having a rough time trying to sell it because it's the base house. It has the base carpet, the base linoleum floor, or the basic countertops. It doesn't have that advanced. Is that the same with the outdoor living? Like the, the higher the trim level and the more the well it's designed, does it come into, like when you look at the sheets and the MLSs, is it spoken upon in the, in the MLS when it's done correctly? Oh yeah, absolutely. And you know, I could, from personal experience, speak upon, you know, when you think of hosting friends and family in the spring and summer months and we say barbecue, you know, a lot of us cringe on that because you're thinking, okay, I have to run from the grill to the kitchen and back out of the patio door and the heat's on and flies are coming in the house and all this other stuff is going on. And when we talk about outdoor living space, you know, I personally being a cook, you know, I, I appreciate the ability to entertain outside, not have the mess inside. You know, you have the grill, you have the fridge, you have the cooler, everything you need right there in this outdoor living space. I mean, technically an outdoor kitchen, you know, with enough seating and lighting and everything you need. Um, and again, I just reiterate that I'm passionate about that, not trying to push or sell anything, but essentially it can be done. And it costs, you know, nothing for you to see exactly what can be done. And as Dwayne mentioned at this open house last week, you know, you could see the amazement in people's eyes when they vision what this big empty canvas of a backyard could become and the value it would bring to this big $3,200 builder basic home. You know, the outdoor living space in itself would sway some people into looking into that home. And another question, and I'll make this the last final. When it comes to like getting money, should you get a part of a mortgage loan? Is it okay financially correct to get a mortgage or extend your mortgage to, to add to your outdoor living space? Um, how do you, what's your, your, since you're a professional in this industry, what do you think about that? Absolutely. You know, a lot of times I tell homeowners that, you know, when you're out looking for a home, you're not looking for the perfect home. You're looking for the home in the right area and we're going to turn it into the perfect home. And when you bring outdoor living space into that, that definitely can be included in your financing budget or in the contractor estimate or this gentleman's design and the estimate essentially because it's something that you want to look at initially, okay, as opposed to stating let's revisit it later or take out a second mortgage or finance it at one of these, uh, you know, stone companies or, 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 or Home Depot per se. You know, I fringe on that because in my eyes, you know, I look at what they offer compared to what someone like Dwayne offers and it's night and day. So, yes, it can be financed um, in a 203K or a home style renovation loan. You can put that outdoor living space into it and be done with it and be one mortgage, one payment, very attractive interest rate, and everyone's happy, and those loans are closing just as fast as a purchase without the renovation. Okay, so it can be. So it's not a big deal. So it's yeah. something you can do. Because it does add so much value to the house, it's not going to be a big issue to get a mortgage or a loan to get an outdoor living space is basically what you're saying. Correct. Okay. All done hanging out with Leonard today. I thought I'd do something different with more of a kind of an educational a vlog and piece to learn. I mean, I, I know we can all learn from mortgages and loans and things like that. Anytime there's numbers and large numbers and big things to deal with, we sort of get uncomfortable. And I thought Leonard would be a nice person to talk to and hang out and get some more information about financing, mortgages and things like that. And I, I think I'll use him as my go-to. So we'll probably go back and probably have more conversations about the value of an outdoor living, where the money's gonna go, how do you obtain it? Because I, I know that's the biggest issue with clients calling us is because they're worried about cost. It does cost. So we have to figure out ways to get it funded, to get it financed, so you can have a very nice space, but you have to have it with the highest quality and the, some of the best features and things like that to give it its value of what you're buying and what you're obtaining. Hey, thanks for following us today. We're elevating the outdoor living.